What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of MacBook Flip or Flop. Today we've got an early 2013 MacBook Pro 15 inch Retina and we're gonna take a look and determine whether this is worth flipping or if this is a flop. So, I haven't looked at anything beyond the title and the first picture yet. I opened this listing because it looks interesting. So $500 um, for what they say is just minor damage. That could be pretty good. This is the upgraded 2.7 gigahertz i7, 16 gigs of RAM, pretty well specced. Let's take a look at the pictures. Um, looks like some, there's a little bit of weirdness going on over here with the LCD. Um, the whole LCD looks a little funky to me, not gonna lie. Uh, okay, aha, uh -huh. I think I see what could be wrong with this thing. It looks like there's some, it looks like the display might be cracked. Yep, there's some, there's some lines on the LCD at the bottom. Uh, looks like it's in decent shape. So let's take a look at the description. Early 2013, 16 gigabytes of RAM, completely functional, sold as is because of a dent causing barely noticeable line at the bottom of the screen. SSD was removed. <sighs> I hate when people do that. So with new hard drive, MacBook is ready to go. So... Basically, when I'm looking at Retina MacBook Pros that I'm interested in flipping, there are two rules. When you have prices like this, this is not a horrible price. But the most common thing you'll see with four parts listings that are worthwhile are either a cracked screen or a missing SSD. And the rule of thumb that I always give is you can have one but not both. Both of those things are pretty expensive. An SSD, uh, for something like this, is the early 2013, um, those SSDs aren't as expensive as the late 2013 through mid-2015 SSDs. They changed the way the SSDs are made, and these earlier ones are a lot, a lot cheaper. So, you could probably put a 512 in this thing, which is what I would recommend if you want to get top dollar. And an SSD like that would probably run you $250. I prefer to use OEM SSDs um, in the retinas just for resale purposes. I find that it's better to use uh, OEM drives. If you don't want to use OEM, the only other options are you can find adapters for these early models, these early retina models on Amazon. I don't recommend those. They're often cheap. They don't work too well. And oftentimes they actually cause the bottom of the laptop to bulge. So I don't use those, and OWC drives are actually more expensive than OEM drives. So um, I don't use those, I would use OEM drives. So you'd have to do that, you'd have to do the $250 drive, and on this you'd have to do, you know, $275 for a screen. So that, as you can probably tell, is gonna rule this out as being a possibility to, for flip. If this computer had a functional screen, $500 with free shipping, you might be able to make a little bit of money. It'd be really, really tight because these computers, these, this early 2013, these are getting a little older now. People don't want to pay as much for them. So $500, you'd be in it all in after you bought a drive for $750, assuming the screen were not broken. Uh, that's a pretty good price if you wanted to buy one. It would not be a very good price if you wanted to make money selling one. So keep that in mind. But as it stands, this thing has a cracked screen and regardless, I mean, if you want to buy this for yourself and you can put up with having that, you know, having those lines on the screen, you know, I guess it's a decent deal, but I personally wouldn't recommend it. So let's do the math. We're looking at 500 bucks. We're going to add, add another 275 for a display and another 250 for an SSD. So already you can tell $1,025 roughly for an early 2013 is not a good deal. That is not worth it. Um, so this will have to be a flop. As I said, if you can find something like this that only has one of those issues, either a missing SSD or a cracked display, and it's lower than 500 then you've got a deal but at 500 bucks this is this is a flop now it is worth considering on something like this that uh the parts market is an option so 
A computer such as this, you could part it out. You could probably sell the top case with the battery assembly. You could sell the bottom case. Uh, it has a functioning motherboard. You could sell that. You could sell the fans, the heat sinks, all that stuff. So you could probably make some money selling this computer for parts. However, it's more subjective because it's hard to tell exactly what your parts are going to fetch. Not to mention that sometimes parts can be sitting there for months and months before you get a sale. So it's a very slow and uncertain way to make money, but you could definitely do it on something like this. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. As usual, make sure to head on over to my subreddit. We've got a lot of good stuff going on over here. If you have any listings that you want me to take a look at, I will look at all of the listings that you guys put in this that I think are interesting. So head on over to my subreddit, make sure to be act active, and I will see you guys in the next video.